Hello everyone, today is the official day where you can get Pikmin 4. The game is now leaked and released and you can now play this game into your PC if you don't have a Nintendo Switch. So I'll be gonna teaching you on how to play Pikmin 4 into your PC, so just be sure to follow every step in this video tutorial so that you'll be able to play this game. So first of all, what you need is that you'll need to have all of these three files here that I have highlighted in my desktop. And also you will need to install the latest build of Ryujinx. As of recording this video tutorial, the latest build is Ryujinx 1.1. 965. And for those who don't know what is Ryujinx, uh, Ryujinx is a Nintendo Switch emulator that can play and emulate Nintendo Switch games into your PC as long as you have installed all of these three files into your Ryujinx emulator. Without these files, you'll not be able to play any Switch game at all. So be sure to follow all the steps that I'll be showing you in this video trail so that you're guaranteed to play Pikmin 4. So first of all, I'm going to teach you where to get Ryujinx officially. So I'm going to minimize this and open a web browser and just type in um ryujinx emulator here and hit search and then go to ryujinx.org that is their official website so be sure to click on that and then go to download tab here and then if you are using mac be sure that you are in mac os 11 or later version in order for you to install ryujinx and if you're using linux you can get the installer here and if you're from windows just like me you can get the installer here so since i have already installed a uh, ryujinx emulator into my pc so i'm just gonna skip on that and uh proceed into the another step um the download and installation process in this uh Installing Ryujinx is really easy to do and is really straightforward in that anyone can do this and any noob can do this. So be sure to download the installer here. So this is the only official site where you can get Ryujinx. So be sure to only get Ryujinx from this site. So I'm just going to minimize this now. And I'm going to assume that you have already installed uh, the latest build of Ryujinx. So if this is your first installation, be sure to boot up and run Ryujinx emulator now. And you'll be met with certain errors saying that you will need some certain files installed into your Ryujinx emulator before you can play any Switch games. So what are those files? Those files are these three files that I have here in my desktop. These are the Nintendo Switch firmware and the Nintendo Switch keys. Both should be in version 16.0.3 in order for you to play Pikmin 4. And that your Pikmin 4 should either be in XEI or NSP file format. So um, if you're asking me where to get all of these three files, um, the most legal way to do this is that you own a Nintendo Switch console, that you have modded it, and have installed a custom firmware in it. Because if it has a custom firmware, that means that you can access your Nintendo Switch system files. And once you have access on those system files, all you have to do is just copy all of the latest firmware file and the latest keys files from the Switch to your PC. Now, in order for you to get Pikmin 4, there's no other way around this. The most legal way is to purchase the game, have a physical copy of that game, or a digital copy of that game in eShop, and then you can now digitally back up that game into an XEI or NSP file format, just like here. So, if you have a Switch but don't like to mod or install some firmware, or you don't have a Switch but still wants to try out and play the Pikmin 4 but don't know where to get all of this file, so I'm just going to save you the hassle and teach you where to get all these three files here. So, in order for you to get all of these three files, I'm just going to leave a QR code here on the screen wherein you can scan it with your QR code reader into your mobile phone so that you will be redirected to the page wherein uh, you can get the Pikmin 4 game. And once you have the Pikmin 4, which is in approms.com, um, just transfer them into your PC since you're using your mobile phone. And you can just hover down in the middle part of the website so that you'll get the firmware and the keys files from there. And again, once you have downloaded all those files, Let's transfer them in your PC using a USB cable, assuming that you're using an Android phone. So I'm going to assume that you have already have a copy of all these three files, that you have a copy of it into your desktop, so it's time to install them into your Ryujinx. To do this, just go to Ryujinx, go to File, Open Ryujinx Folder, and then Locate System Folder, and then open the key 16.0.3 file, and all you have to do is drag and drop or copy and paste these files into this folder. This folder should be empty because this is your first installation, so I'm going to close in that. And then it's time to install the Nintendo Switch firmware. To do this, just go to Regix, go to Tools, go to Install Firmware, install a firmware from XE or zip file, click on that, and then allocate the firmware file. And then we'll say that we'll have to install this latest version of firmware, and we'll say hit yes, and we'll say successful install, hit OK. You'll notice it's successful because it will show you here that system version right here below is 16.0.3, the same way as the firmware version of the Switch. And also, it will now detect your Nintendo Switch games and it will show you their game icons. So if you see a game that is blank or black, does not contain an icon at all, that means that you're using an outdated firmware. 
So be sure to only follow the QR code that we have put in the screen so that you'll only get the latest files in order for you to play Pikmin 4. So the next step now is to optimize your viewings. To do this, just go to options, go to settings. This is the optimization setting for Pikmin 4 so that you'll be able to play any Nintendo Switch games with no issues at all. Now here in the general tab, uh, the game directories could be anywhere on your PC as long as you know where they are. And also your Nintendo Switch games should either be in XEI or NSP file format, okay, for Ujinx to detect that game. Now I'm going to go to input and I'm going to go to player one and hit configure. And then my controller has been detected here and I have connected my Nintendo Switch Pro controller. You can also connect your Xbox or PlayStation controller here and you have to uh, set the settings here. And both the left and right sticks should be in 0.20% so that there'll be no drifting into your playthrough. Once you have map uh, uh, the buttons here, then you can hit save. And go to system. In this part, just pause the video and copy everything you see from here. The language and region is subjective to whatever language you prefer. You can change that. Now I'm going to go to graphics tab. So this is the most important part. So be sure to copy everything. So graphics back and multi-threading should be on. Graphics back and API should be in Vulkan. Your preferred GPU should be your dedicated graphics card. And in the enhancements, you should enable shader cache and enable macro HLE. The resolution scale should be in two times resolution. So that the game will look much sharper and much more beautiful than the native resolution of the Switch. But if your PC can handle that, then just revert back to the native resolution of the Switch, which is 720p or 1080p. But if you got a powerful CPU and GPU, you can go to higher resolutions here. But for me, two times resolution is the best. Now, processing effect should be none. Upscale should be in bilinear and anisotrope. Anisotropic filtering should be auto and aspect ratio should be in 16 by 9. And once done, hit apply and save. Now your Ujinx emulator is now fully optimized to run and play Pikmin 4 and all of the previously released Nintendo Switch games into your PC as long as you have their XEI or NSP file. So a little bit of disclaimer, I'm going to show you guys a gameplay of Pikmin 4 because we all know that Nintendo is really strict on this kind of content and they don't really want it to be shown on the internet, especially if you're playing uh, any Switch games running into your PC using an emulator. So um, if I showed you a gameplay of Pikmin 4 running into Ujinx Emulator into my PC, then my channel will be in trouble and my videos will be taken down and my channel will be taken down. And that would be a major hassle for my side. So I hope you guys do understand on that part. But as long as you have followed all the steps that I've shown you in this video tutorial, you are guaranteed to play Pikmin 4 into your PC, get the files you needed, and you'll be able to optimize your Ujinx, and you'll be able to play Pikmin 4 with no issues at all. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of Pikmin 4, into your PC, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer all of them. Thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel, this will help me out. See you next time and goodbye for now.